I may have just come across the perfect light for my content creation setup. I just wanna say thank you to Tiffin for sending me these lights to check out because they reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and they basically said, hey, we like the stuff that we uh, saw on your YouTube and your Instagram. We can send you a couple lights to check out, do some impressions on uh, if you're interested. As a cinematographer, someone who is always kind of trying to find new technologies to kind of make my life easier or to create new things in different ways, I jumped at the opportunity. Let me show you something really cool because the light that we're talking about here is basically this key light here. And you might be wondering, well, what's so special about this key light? Um, it is really versatile. It is, it is kind of, it's really impressed me. It's blown me away. And I'm gonna be using it for pretty much all my YouTube content creation moving forward, as well as having it be a multi-purpose light. So what am I talking about? Let's, let's get into it. So here, I just have a normal setup here. It's my key light and I have like a little lamp on in the background, but let me turn it off and let me show you something. So let's turn this off. And if I just adjust myself, I feel like I'm in a movie right now. I've seen many Hollywood movies over the years and similar setups um, over and over and over again. And this setup right here, let me, maybe, let me just adjust this light just a little bit to get some more mood. Look at the contrast that's happening here compared to like when I was up front here. Look at the contrast now that I've just kind of reoriented myself in comparison with you know where the lighting is and where the camera is. This reminds me of a lot of films that you see where there's a dinner table, a really moody dinner table, whether it's in a house, at a restaurant, at a bar, where the mood is somber and um, you, know, you, you wanna just create that, that tension. So let's get on with it. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna take it off the tripod. So you might be wondering, what is this thing? Well, it's called the Low Ego, which I think is hilarious. And I really respect Tiffin for making it called that because you can always tell that if, when a company's having fun with the names, it's just, it's just something, there's just something different for it. You know, there's a confidence there, there's a swagger there that I really like. And so let's walk through this light really quick here. Obviously it's a, it's a square panel. It's a really diffused light. It's a super soft light actually. And uh, I don't know the exact dimensions. I'll post them in the video when I do the edit, but um, it's, it's a bigger, it's bigger than a one by one, I think. And uh, if we look at the, if we look at the, what's, what's on the back here, we have the, this is for how much intensity we have set here. So if I just kind of turn that up and down, you can kind of see that there. It gets decently bright. And then we have the uh, color temp as the second bulb here. So if I just kind of move over here, you kind of see like what that does. So we're, in, we're mostly in the tungsten setting right now. Um, we're at night, we're at nighttime, we're indoors. And then I think the crux of the particular unit comes through this LED strip right here, which I think is a really, really interesting design because it's so different from other LED panels that I've seen and that I've used in the past. Because look, again, let's, if we look at this here, I'll describe to you what's happening. The LEDs are pointing upward this way. So instead of, you know, most other LED panels, you'll notice that if you just look at them, you'll see that the LED bulbs are just kind of pointing straight outward at, the, at the, whatever it's pointing at. So at the talent or whatever, and it's a really harsh light. Even if you put a diffusion sheet in front of those type of lights, it's still very harsh and it's not pretty. This thing is really interesting because it changes that dynamic because the, the lights or are, are the LED strip, is their point, the diodes are pointing upward. So you're not getting that harsh light coming directly down. You're getting it here and then, then it's diffusing and then it's going through this panel here, which gives it that softness. So it's a super interesting implementation of, of the LED. It's like a, just a different way of doing it. I think that's really cool. All right. So now that I've given you the tour of how this whole thing is set up, um, this thing is, again, it's coming straight at me for the most part. Uh, it's a little tilted down, but it's, you can see how soft this light looks. And just like any other light, if you add more control to it, you can get an even prettier light. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you what we can do to make this even softer. So let me put another diffusion fabric on here and let me show you what this looks like. All right, I kinda of have to hold this up here because I don't have any clips on hand to kind of put all this together, but I just put another diffusion over the low ego light. So the ego light is so soft already 
it gives a great base to um, to put a second diffusion on it and, and really soften out those shadows. And, I, and uh, normally when I, when I see a light going through a fabric, it's still a little harsh, but the fact that this is going, this is kind of diffuse already in and of itself, and it's going through another fabric and you can soften it up really easily. Uh, that speaks volume to the softness of the light and I think it's really cool. All right, so we're back to our normal setup here, just the Eagle light by itself. Again, you'll see it's still soft. Now this is gonna sound like something that has nothing to do with anything, but uh, I'm a very spiritual person. And so I believe in things like synchronicity, putting energy and vibes out into the world, stuff like that, you know, stuff that's like way out there for some people. But you know, if, if, you, if you can understand and vibe with some of that, I put out the intention to the universe saying that, you know, in my office, I don't have a lamp in my office. I haven't had a lamp in my office since I moved into this apartment which was about, uh, you know, almost a year now. And so um, I just haven't found the right one. And just my IMAX screen is so big that it kind of fills the room with light. So I haven't really needed it. But there are often times where um, I find myself having to turn on the really ugly overhead fluorescent lighting. And uh, I haven't really figured out like my lamp solution. Uh, and so I've been kind of like looking for lamps and, and uh, didn't really want to spend the money on something that I just didn't know it was going to fit long term. Enter the ego. This actually acts as a desk lamp. You know, it's part of it's part of the, the uh, what they say it's used for on on the website. And so the fact that this kind of just showed up out of nowhere just kind of spoke to me of like this is the light that I'm going to be using. Because not only is it a desk lamp, the beauty of it being a desk lamp is that um, the the lights that I do own, the professional film lights, I don't have them in my apartment. They're in a uh, studio. Uh, which is which is nearby, so it's not a, it's not that a problem to get them. But every time I want to do a YouTube video or if I want to do like something at home, I always have to go there. I have to gather up the stuff. I have to bring stand. I, I, it's basically a whole process. And so the fact that this is such a cinematic light to begin with, and now it's going to be sitting on my desk, which is like 20 feet away from me right now. I can literally keep this on my desk when I feel like making a YouTube video or like doing like a product shot or whatever it is, I can just go and grab it and then put it on a stand and make it happen. I don't have to go all the way to the studio. I don't have to carry stuff. I mean, this is a game changer for me. It's gonna be such a great tool for me to use. And uh, I think that that's, that's, that's part of what sealed the deal for me. You know, when a company sends you something and um, they want you to check it out and, and uh, give some impressions on it, I want to be 100% honest with the things that I like and I don't like, but sometimes there's a little weird energy of like, oh, can I actually be really honest? Am I going to hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that? And so I was so relieved that the fact that this light is so beautiful and that I could use it for multiple things. I mean, it's it's like, I'm, I can't tell you how relieved I am. Like, I'm definitely going to be using this on like a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I mean, the fact that it can act as a desk lamp is everything. And then the fact that I can just walk over 20 feet, I'm, I'm repeating myself just because I'm so amazed at like the fact that this came into my life and it's so cool. Yeah, and you know, the, the other amazing thing that this has nothing to do with me, but it, it also can be used as a makeup light. That's what they say on the website. So, um, you know, working in fashion and beauty myself, passing by uh, makeup desks, checking out what the makeup looks like, um, or if I'm backstage at Fashion Week or something like that, you see a lot of harsh LED situations uh, blasting at the model's face. And then like, you know, the makeup artist has to like kind of like work with it as well. And then like, you know, when you're shooting behind the scenes type of stuff, it's really just like not a pretty side for the camera. But like imagine having, I could just imagine the whole space set up with these beauty lights. And, and you know, if Tiffin, if you guys are doing any marketing towards the fashion space, that, that, would, be, that's an, that would be an amazing thing in, in my opinion. So now speaking about integrity, for the impression slash review videos, whatever you want to call these things, um, there's always, you know, there's always something that can be improved. And the one thing that stood out to me aside, you know, after kind of like looking at it and testing it out and doing things of that nature, the one thing that stood out to me that I was a little like, uh, you know, this could probably be improved in a version 2.0 is the fact that um, aside from the amazing quality of it overall, the fact that the base is made of plastic uh, gives me a little pause for bringing it onto like a set where um, there's a lot going on because there are some sets where there's a lot of equipment uh, or you're moving things around, you're trying to move quickly. Sometimes things get like put on top of each other. I would be wary about like, you know, if I'm giving this to someone else, 
if I if 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 I if they don't know to be careful with it. So that's that's pretty much my biggest thing that stood out to me. It's the fact that this base is plastic. But then again, this light is so light in terms of like the weight that this plastic probably came into consideration for that. Because if it were a metal base, it'd probably be a lot heavier. However, you know, if there was a quote unquote pro version that would be made, um, I could see them using metal for this base right here. So that's the, that's really the only thing that stood out to me. I mean, so the next thing for me with this light is to see what other scenarios it could potentially fit into in my workflow. Because I still do work on some small projects where it might just be me and one talent or me and one assistant, um, where, whether it's like a product shots or whether it's like a quick capture of something. Uh, this might actually fit into some of the smaller professional workflows that, that, um, that I'm working on for clients. So thank you again, Tiffin, for sending me this low light. It's pretty awesome. Um, if you guys have any questions, post them below. I'll try to answer them. I'll also post a link to the site that you can check this out so you can see the various uses and the tech specs and all of that stuff. But um, yeah, looking forward to, uh, to using this light uh, in different scenarios and, um, and you'll see it on the next YouTube video. All right, guys, until next time, peace.